Howdy folks. So today I am going to do a one last ditch effort to try and make some of these work. Um, I'm a little scared because whatever makeup I do, I'm going to have to keep wearing it for the rest of the day. Um, so I'm trying to decide about if I should do HNL or waffle. HNL is the matte gray with the glitter and waffle is the matte yellow with the glitter. And either way, I don't know how it's gonna end up, but I think what I'm gonna start with is, I'm actually going to start with the H&L and see how that works. I did grab several different brushes to try out with it. I did get my setting spray to try and make it work with that. So uh, I think I'm gonna start with H&L now. I did something I don't typically do. I did my face makeup. I didn't put highlighter on yet in case I have some fallout. I wanna be able to brush that away. Uh, and then at the end, I'll use highlight on everything. Speaking of which, yes, I have my highlighter right here. Um, and so the I found that because I'm so fair, the highlight shade that they have in here, Babysitter, is just not, it's not bright enough. It's just a little bit uh, too dark for me. Um, this is a constant issue that I have, uh, but I've done pretty much everything except for my eyes. Uh, I even did my eyebrows. I'm trying out a new eyebrow pencil. It's Elf's eyebrow pencil. I have never seen them have an auburn shade before, so whoa, I'm excited because obviously with this hair color, which this, this is my natural color, it's hard for me to find good matches in terms of eyebrow pencils. All right, so I already have my eye primer on. I'm gonna just start by aligning my waterline and tight line, just gently pulling down on here. And I have a mirror down below to work with. Okay, I just feel like this is gonna improve the look. Also, for some reason, I guess this is also part of me being fair. The This part of my eyelid always looks really red. This is where I make dumb faces and you guys get to laugh at me. Good thing I'm just trying not to get on my contacts. Okay, so we'll just start from there. I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush into that. Uh, well, I'll start with 11 because it's just a really good kind of blending shade. It's a little bit pink, but um, it'll lay down just a little bit of color. Um, this brush is a little bit stained, but it'll lay down some powder so that I can blend a little more easily up here. And that'll be nice. Okay. All right, I think this is close enough. You can actually see what I'm doing. All right, so now I'm just gonna grab a little bit of the h and color. Whoa, a lot of that got on my brush. Tip, tip, tip. And I'm just gonna try and blend that into the crease area. I don't expect to get a lot of glitter when I do this because, well, first of all, I mean like the glitter is so loose, but I don't expect to get a lot of glitter, but I just kinda wanna make sure it's gonna be a nice blend. So I just kind of put it in and blend it out a little bit. So we'll see how this ends up looking. Kind of went really uh, natural with the face today. Okay. Well, that got me a little bit of gray on the eyes. Okay, that's not bad. All right, so here's the part where I'm gonna try and pack it on so that I can actually get some of that glitter payoff. Well, now that I'm actually getting into it, okay, so I'm really digging into the shadow and this is what I'm finding. Look. You see how there's no more glitter right there? That's where I'm digging in. So I think that this really is just a really deep overspray. I, I don't know how they did that, but um, what I'm gonna do is I've really packed a bunch onto this brush. There you go, you can see it. And I'm gonna spray it with setting spray. I'm gonna use a little more than I typically do. I just like to do kind of a little half spritz, but we're just gonna see what happens when I try to do this. Well, we're getting something. Now whether it ends up looking good or not is another story. I'm just trying to like, I'm patting it, but then I'm just gently kind of blending the edges of this. And it is not blending very well. I mean, it's a wet 
shadow. It's got a matte base. It's probably not going to blend very easily, if I'm being honest with you. This was just kind of a, like I said, a last ditch effort to try and make this work. Now, having said it, now I don't, looks like I do have a couple pieces of the glitter on there. The color is not, not pretty. I'm looking at it up close in my mirror. I mean, it doesn't look bad. Kind of that gray kind of matches my eye color. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm getting quite a bit of fallout here. Luckily, I have my handy dandy brush and I'm just going to flip that stuff off. And I'm just a light, using a super light hand to just kind of flick it off. And I was able to get that off of there. Okay. So I also have my blending sponge that I used to do my foundation and everything earlier so that I can kind of clean up that outside edge. That, it doesn't look bad. Now having said that, does it look like, I think it's supposed to look based on how I saw it in the pan the first time? Um, no, it just doesn't. Uh, I'm gonna try to go ahead and do the other eye really quick. Now I have equally packed up this again. I'm going to equally spray it with a couple of little half spritzes again. And I'm gonna try and do this eye and see how even I can get them. Now, like I said, using that setting spray really does help with color payoff. And I'm just kind of tapping it. I know you can see that. I'm just kind of tapping it on to see if I can't get it to get on the eyeball. Um, not sure, does it even look even? I'm gonna get a little more color. I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna be a very even eye look. I was nervous going into it. But seven minutes so far. I'm trying to keep these kind of on the shorter side. Oh gosh, look at all that. Whew. I don't know. I think to use it, you have to actually spray the brush every time. All right, let's see if I can just kind of sweep this stuff away. All right, I guess it's okay. All right, I'm gonna take this. I'm not gonna try anymore. I'm not gonna try to do anymore because I don't wanna risk messing up my face makeup. Okay, well, all right. It looks like this side didn't get any glitter on it, but this side did. I'm gonna leave it the way it is. I'm not, I'm not gonna keep working on it because sometimes you have to take that moment and say, okay, this is as good as it's gonna get. I give up. You know what I'm saying? Um, and you just kind of have to accept where you're at. All right, so I'm gonna take a different brush and I'm actually, I think I'm gonna try and use the waffle color just because we're here. You know, how often do you get to see a gray and yellow eyeshadow look? Uh, so we'll go for it. Uh, this one also, as I'm digging into it, appears to be just a really deep overspray. Um, you, I don't know if you can tell that the glitter is kind of going away. So we'll see. I'll do that on the inner half of my eye. But I'm really just trying to pack the color on my brush. Ooh, it is very, very powdery. And I will say, on this brush, I don't seem to have very much glitter at all transferring from the pan to the brush. I'm still going to spritz this just a little bit and then say a little prayer, send positive vibes. We're going in, ladies and gentlemen. All right. This color is not really tra transferring well at all. Okay. I am just kind of tapping it on there like I did before. Sometimes when you're doing this, you have to, I don't wanna push down all the way and get too much saturation on there because then it just looks gunky. Okay, so gonna do my best to kind of turn this into something that doesn't look like a horror show. All right, so that's yellow on the inside. Let's do the other side real quick. I'm packing this onto the brush. There is a lot of product on here. Okay, 
So two little half spritzes. And let's go into this side. <laughs> All right, well, it's not terrible. It could work. I do think I have other yellow eyeshadows that I would prefer to use. I have one in my Carity, one of my Carity palettes that I like. It's yellow. My other concern that I'm like, I'm actually legitimately worried about is if any of this glitter actually gets in my eye. That is actually a major concern for me. All right, this is like even halfway relatively even. I'm just blending out the edges. I'm not going over this area that I've packed color on. I'm just going over these edges to kind of make it smooth. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna take my finger with the babysitter color and I'm gonna tap that like right in the middle here. Try and like, just be creative. We're just being creative, we're going with it. Good. All right. Well, that's just gonna be, that's, that's gonna be what my eyeshadow looks like that day, girl. Uh, I am gonna take probably a little, yeah, I'm gonna take a little bit. I'm gonna mix 11 and Babysitter and mix those on here. I'm just gonna blend this out a little bit just so it doesn't look so yellow so close to the side of my eye. Okay, yeah. All right, I think I like that better. Uh, let's just do a little bit of eyeliner. And I'm gonna use my mirror down here to do that. So tell me, what do you guys think of this? One, this look I've created, and two, this palette overall. Um, I do think it is workable. I do think there are some really cool colors in here that are enjoyable. I think I'll probably end up getting a good amount of use out of like Castle Byers, um, Hawkins, Palace Arcade, that purple, that matte purple. I think I'll probably end up using that a few times. I need to get a new eyeliner. Okay. So, overall, 16 bucks. Not a bad palette for 16 bucks, I think. And you know what? All right, eyeliner done. So like I said, overall, I don't think it's like a really bad palette for 16, 17, whatever dollars. It's 16.90 before tax. Um, I do think that there's some really neat colors. I think you could do like a really amazing, cool looking uh, smoky eye with the void. It's kind of like a black with blue fleck in it. You would definitely have to use that method where you uh, would pack it onto the brush and use setting spray. That's the real only way that you could make that happen, I think, uh, because the majority of these colors, unless their base is a shimmer, this is what I've noticed. Unless the base is a shimmer, uh, they they really need a little bit of help. So Babysitter's good. 11 is good on its own, even though it's matte. And the reason it's good on its own is because it's such a light color. It's really like, if you were trying to use this palette and this be the only palette you use, it's the only color for people with Actually, this is the only color that really is a transition color, especially if you're looking for a matte to use as a transition. That's really the only one you, you would be able to use as a transition. Uh, having said that, I bet you could do a really cool purple smoky eye with uh, that Palace Arcade color and the 11 color. And if you have the right skin tone, you can just highlight with Babysitter. Um, Gosh, that's so funny. If you watch the show, it makes me laugh that the highlight color is called Babysitter. Oh, Steve. Let's just get under here real quick. I didn't do anything underneath the eyes. I guess I could take a little bit of that gray. Let's do that real fast. Just take a little bit of that gray. Layer up my eyeshadow, like, or my mascara like I normally do. 
if you know me, you know that's what I do. All right, let me just take a little bit of that gray. Use this little brush here. Do, do. Mm -mm -mm. And this guy. Oh, guess what brush I didn't grab? I didn't grab my brush that I like to use for my inner corner, but it's right here. So, all right, so I was able to make those work, I think. We're gonna call it making them work. Um, it wasn't bad. It wasn't easy. If you are really a beginner at eyeshadow and you don't have a lot of confidence in what you're doing, these shades are going to be difficult to use and they're gonna take a little work. But honestly, the other thing is, is sometimes you only need your shadow to last for an hour or two, depending on what you're doing. So don't be too hard on yourself if you're like, this isn't working, blah, blah, blah. Just have fun with it. It's makeup, this is what I always tell, this is what I always say, it's makeup, it's just supposed to be for fun and you're supposed to just wash it off when you're done, right? When you're done with your day, you wash it off and you have a good night, get a good sleep, and then you got a new face in the morning to work with. Um, I've never been the kind of person that did like literally the same makeup every single day. I just never been able to do that. Okay, so tell me what you think. Does gray and yellow work together? I don't think so, but you never know, right? Let's just finish this off. Mmm, setting spray. Smells so good. All right, so this is what I've got going on for today. I'm gonna be filming a couple other videos, some unboxings, and so you're gonna see this makeup in a couple of different things. Um, I hope you guys have a great day, and we'll talk soon. Bye.